hurricanes. Scientists have become better at predicting where they'll go. Right now, Hurricane Isaac is moving over Louisiana on the seventh anniversary. But trying to anticipate how strong the hurricane will be when it reaches land is still an inexact science. So there's a big difference between a tropical storm coming on shore in the Carolinas or in Virginia and a category one or two. Hurricanes can rapidly intensify. And so that produces a lot more damage than just a tropical storm. So it's a very important uh, topic just to save lives. Enter a cutting edge aircraft called the ER-2. We're using two Global Hawk aircraft. These are um, uh, robotic aircraft. They can fly for 30 hours uh, at 65,000 feet. We can sit over a hurricane with the Global Hawk for uh, 10, 12, 20 hours, depending on where the hurricane is located. So we can drop sons, um, weather measurement instruments all over the hurricane and collect information can, that can be then fed into models and used to analyze the behavior of hurricanes. Originally used by the Air Force for reconnaissance, the two unmanned Global Hawks were transferred to NASA when the Air Force no longer needed them. Now they're based at NASA's Wallops Light Facility in eastern Virginia with new equipment to spy on weather, not on people. The data that we collect is temperature, winds, um, information on water vapor, relative humidity, and that can all be used to diagnose how a hurricane is changing. It can also be used to improve the forecast of tracking and the change of the intensity of the hurricane. And this hasn't really been done all that effectively in the past, so this is really the first time that we're getting these data. The Global Hawks communicate with ground control stationed inside these trailers, one for research scientists and the other for the pilots. While the Hawks can operate autonomously via pre-programmed flight plans, they're still monitored by pilots in case the drones need to change course. The hurricane tops are usually in the 40 to 50,000 foot range. We fly uh, in a block altitude usually between 55 and 65,000 feet. So therefore we're above them. We try to stay out of the turbulence. The mission, dubbed HS3, is a partnership between NASA and Global Hawk manufacturer Northrop Grumman. A five-year mission totaling $30 million, NASA and Northrop share the aircraft, staffing, and facilities evenly. Northrop sees potential in using the Hawks for other non-military purposes, including first responder communications during emergencies, as well as other scientific research. With the hurricane mission just getting off the ground in early September, scientists have yet to analyze most of the data the Hawks have collected. Although they're not being used for short-term predictions, scientists are optimistic about what they will be able to do with new understanding of the storms. For CNN Money, I'm Matt Stewart.